Welcome back! I have not said that for a long time, and that's what this video is about. Bloody thing. Uh, I've not made a video for about nine months, and everyone's asking, Chris, where have you been? Well, I've been on this bloody job, that's where I've been, doing the whole thing on my own. This is Bank Holiday Monday, and it gives you a bit of an idea what my life's all about. Come on. I've boarded the whole job by myself. I've studied the whole job, that's the stud. I've floored the whole job. I've put the windows in myself. I've done all the stud work myself. All the ceilings and hatches. All the stud work. All the dormers. All the floors again. And this is what I'm on with at the moment. Putting door casings in. And at the same time, because the plasterers are coming tomorrow, I'm a bit under pressure. I've got to insulate the loft. Oh, well, dear. There you go. That's my fun job for Bank Holiday Monday. These are extra timbers we've had to put in because the ridge was deflecting three inches. And I've also had to put new purlins in, as you can see down there. And basically I'm putting 300 millimetres of Rockwell insulation up here. And that's my job for this afternoon. I'll get on with that and then I'll give you a quick tour of the rest of the job. You get an idea where I've been. Right. Okay, let's head downstairs. This is a bit of a work in progress, I've not got to this yet. This is next week's work. It's an old toilet though, as you can see we ripped that out. That was a bit stinky that. There'd been no water to that for about six months, but everyone was still using it, but I won't go to great detail. You get the idea. This is the same building as my daily ground video. If you want to check that out, you'll get an idea how far I've come along. Not bloody far, because I've been there on my own. It's all double stud work for soundproofing. It's got a no gap though, you see. That's that. All new openings have been formed. Uh, not much happening in there yet. As you can see. Uh, that's where the new stairs are going to go, the floor there. All that gets taken out going new stairwell. What else have we got? Uh, windows. We've got some new windows, they've turned up. We're going to put them in next week. More stud work. All soundproof ceilings. You see. That's that room. What's in here? It's going to be the kitchen again. Because the old windows are higher than the, the new soundproof ceilings, we're going to have to build light wells that go up at the slant. That's what, I, that's, what that's going to be. And what else have we got up there? Steel work. Had to put all new steel work in to carry the dharmas. Originally there was some old like 8 2s or something and it was all warped and there was all the nil floor up. But that's a better job now. Right. Where are we going? Wires. More stud work. All for soundproofing. Soundproof ceilings again. New floor joists above at home bone struts. You've seen me do them before in one of my videos. Uh, bathroom. Full of rubbish. It's going to be the living room. This is our all new ceilings put in and new roof. Again, the new roof. The, the old roof was warped about at a, a dip in it about three inches. So I'd need to redo it and re slating. Windows again at the moment. This is how we're getting up and down. So I'll just go to a stair wipe and I'll be on the floor. Right, we've just come down the ladder, courtesy of a stair wipe on the ground floor. Again, all new floor joists, and iron bone struts throughout. And this is the staging post, this is the ground floor, so all the rubbish is coming down from the other floors and ending up here, ready to go into skips. 
all kinds of things going at ceiling. So this coming at ceiling, I think it's a backup battery pack for an old alarm. Ever ready batteries for longer life. Well, that's a. That says. Made in the Republic of Ireland. Wow. Look at these bad boys in here. When was the last time you see a bloody battery with a, bloody, a nilled thumb turn on it? God, about, about 50 year old then. I don't like how old they are. Actually, I might have them. <laughs> I'll keep them, I'll take them off, I'll keep them. You never know, they might come in handy. So, this is the ground floor. This is where the shop's going to be. The other floors are flats, the ground floor is going to be a shop. That's a big block supporting wall we've put in to carry steel beams and divide up the shop. It's good. The other side there's a staircase for the flats. That's a new entrance we're working on. Again, all new floors. That steel beam, that's got to come out, that's redundant now. Well, this is quite interesting. I think the old shop was a jeweller's. We've got this big old safe here. That's the ones that have got it to get in. I think they lost the keys and someone's had to go again. Not me. Oops. Not me. But that took some bloody cutting. It's like cut it with an angle grinder. Don't make them like that anymore, do they? It's an old English safe. I don't make them like that anymore. It's a good way of getting into a safe, though, isn't it? They left me some goodies. They left me the steel plate. I think I'll have that, I'm better to make a picture of that. Should have to cut the shape of a bottle opener at that or something. I mean it'd be good quality steel, like grade A steel, wouldn't it? Well it's Chinese rubbish you get these days. So, future project, I'll take that piece home. So that's that. Well, where are we going now? Right. There's all the glass of the new windows that come uh, Thursday. It's next week's job. Oh yes, we're in the cellar now. Cellar dweller. <sighs> this is going to get all new floors. It's going to have all new concrete floors put in. Could take the old timber floors out, yeah, put new bottom beams in. So all we've got to be dug out. All these brick pillars go, because they've got independent uh, pot and beam floors, so all these brick pillars go. All the floors we dug out, all these electrics go, they get, re they get redone somewhere else in the building. Don't fancy that old bloody iron cable though, it looks a bit, it's a bit gnarly, doesn't it? Uh, is it wires? Eventually that's where the new stairwells are going, for the flats. So a quick walk in here. Like I said, I've got to dig all this out and put new floors in. That's a new wall over there to carry the new bottom beam floors when all this comes out. More digging. Lots more digging and more digging. So, you're getting an idea now where I've been for the last nine months and probably where I'm going to be for the next nine months. But I'll try and make a few videos for you. So thanks for viewing and come again. <sighs> Bloody job.